Hello everyone, Scotty here from Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to City Skylines. Today we're going to be continuing our look at the Disasters DLC. Today we're going to be looking at disasters from the ocean. Now, what do I mean by this? Of course, I mean the tsunami. I know it's spelled with a T, but it's, it's pronounced tsunami. Uh, but yes, so tsunami is a big, 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 big wave from... Uh, the, from the ocean, which is often caused by an earthquake at sea. Of course, with an earthquake, the tectonic plates move and cause a uh, ground level disturbance. Of course, if it's underwater, that causes the mass of water above it to move and shift and form a large wave. Now, because water does actually weigh a lot, that wave can be very powerful and virtually unstoppable. So, you hear me sh shout. What can you do with the city? Because I'm, oh no, my my city is lovely and coastal and might and might get swamped and drowned. Well, in the grand scheme of things, there's not a lot you can do. One of the things you can do is, do you have shelters? Yes. Tick. Good. You can help keep your citizens alive. Two. Do you have any coastal defence? What do you mean by coastal defence? Well, do you have your city on the edge of the water? Yes. Well, then bad luck. They're probably going to get destroyed. No. Are they up a hill, like so, or like my main city is up behind, away from the water? Yes, then you've got a better chance of surviving. Two, do you have, um, you know, with the coastal defense, do you have any way of, you could extra defend against the water incoming? What do I mean by this? Well, there is added, under the water section, a flood wall. Now I'm going to show you what you can do with this. So I'm going to add my flood wall here, so just beyond here, and I'm going to add it like that, okay? All I'm going to do is just going to add another layer of defense from this city, from the tsunami. Now this one, there's not a lot I can do about it, because it's, it's fairly open. These guys, I'm pretty sure, will get flooded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a wall from the highest point there and kind of add it as a deflect around the main city. That's what I'm going to do. Now how do you detect a tsunami incoming and how do you help prevent, or how do you help add that early warning stage to allow your citizens to get to a shelter quickly? Well that's fairly simple. Underneath the Disasters tab, which is under Emergency Services, Disasters, you've got this, which is a Tsunami Warning Boy. Boy, Americans. Boy. Not buoy. Don't know what's wrong with you people sometimes. I'm joking, I do love you. But, um, yes, boy. They're big or tiny things, look at those small it is. All it is, is you stick this boy out in the water, and of course when the tsunami comes, it moves with it. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to add one there. From there, from there, just along the coastline, just to help detect any tsunamis incoming, okay? Just like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger a tsunami. I know it's really bad and I probably really shouldn't do this, but I'm going to trigger one. Oh no, tsunami incoming! But of course I don't know there is, because my citizens don't know there is, and these could happen at any time. Now they do happen quite far out to sea, and just to help get that extra early warning stage, you want to build, you want to buy some land out in the water, like this. And I'm going to add some more tsunami boys just out here, just randomly dotted around, just to help my early warning defences kick into place. So there's no sign of any wave yet. No sign yet. There's a little wave coming. That's not a tsunami wave. So it might be the pre-wave. But one thing you can tell, in a real tsunami, there's an easy way to tell if there's a tsunami coming. Because of course there's a lot of wave, there's a lot of water to build up into one wave. The water only has a fi the, sorry, the ocean only has a finite amount of water. So, before a tsunami will hit, you'll notice that the sea will retract 
are much further back than a low tide. And exactly what it's doing here. You can see the water is pulling away. Um, there was a large tsunami in um, in the Asian islands many, many years ago. I can remember when I was younger. And one of the things that they noticed um, is that uh, the sea actually retracted all the way from a beach and all the locals went out and started collecting shells yeah a couple a couple minutes later a large tsunami hit and flooded most of the land so you can see here the water is retracted as I said and now a wave is coming this is a huge huge wave and it was going to swamp this entire island you can see the water like I said is retracting and pulling away there. So it swamped that entire island. Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. There you go. So we're going to trigger the evacuation now. So this should allow people to get to safe safety. Yep, should give people plenty of time to get to safety. Plenty of time. So what I've done there is all I've done is triggered an evacuation order to, for my system because there is a tsunami coming and the first boy has picked it up, which is over here somewhere. There it is. Here he is. He's detected that there is a large wave coming and the best thing to do is evacuate. So see a 5.5 is about to happen, so you can see, here we go, and as the disaster starts to hit, we can see that there is the disaster roadmap, so that's rough areas that is going to get affected. So we can see that this wall has helped massively, and this wall should help up here, and the dam will take the biggest brunt of it, but that should prevent the rest of it from flooding. We get a little bit of flooding up here. Uh, but nothing major. So that should be fairly okay. I might just extend this wall slightly out further just to see how it will react. Just going to go across here like so. Just like that. Just to see how that will do. That should help prevent anything further. So that should help hold that water back. There we go, it's about to hit water attracting away. We should see actually this little estuary bit completely drain of water, which is quite fascinating to watch. Road bridge over there is completely flooded. The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. There you go, the water is flying straight up the beach. And it's not stopping it because it is so powerful, nothing can really stop it. You can just only help limit the damage. And it's even going to push over this wall. This wall isn't going to stop it, it's just going to help add that extra layer of protection. So it's going to go straight over the wall. But it's going to stop the main brunt of it. Just like so. A tsunami has struck the city. Take okay, how's this wall faring up? So the lower half of the wall has basically done nothing, but it helps should slow it down to stop and minimise its impact. So these are completely flooded and underwater, but we can see here it's already starting to retract back here. So I'm just going to increase it by one so it's at normal speed. Here we go. So most of that water wave is just disintegrated. And hopefully we won't get much damage from this. I think we should be okay. How's this one doing? This is slowing up. 
Dan's about to take a full brunt of it. That helps stop it just a little bit. Jesus Christ, look at how much water that is just pushed up there. This game has amazing water physics. I will give it that. This game is an incredible water physics. The tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water... So now we can see that the water is now going to start retracting away. Because the main pushing force is finished. You're going to have mainly flooding um, that is going to hold it. No one actually got to that shelter, which is a massive shame. Uh, did people get to these shelters? No, no one got to these shelters either. Oops. But I'm assuming people got to these shelters, but not that it means anything. No. Nope. Apparently people, did, people completely ignored my warning, but that's down to them. I did everything I could. Apart from these ones which have got no power. I do now. See how the water attracts. See I left this little gap here to allow water to drain easily. So it should only be minimal damage. Most of the water which gets stuck behind the dam will just get pushed out through the dam. And that's how your city can take a full brunt of a uh, tsunami with very minimal damage and how you can help keep your citizens, and citizens alive in you know one of the worst disasters there can be to a uh, city. But most of that water has now been dissipated. Here's the final bit of the wave and now next to nothing. We just got to wait for water, water levels of the flood to actually come down, which won't take too long at all. That's why I kept this at an angle, because then the water will just all flow down the, down the wall here, just like so. And that should be all the water now gone. Now the only damage I can see is that the train station here has been swept away, but that's okay. That should be fairly easy to rebuild and try just placing a new train station down. So, there you go, there you have it guys. Uh, apart from this water being a little bit weird. I'll just do that. There you go. So, that's it guys, that's how you help your city with a tsunami disaster. Catch me next time for another disaster and how we can help with the uh, new DLC. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!